So the year is 2022, and Apple does something very, very interesting that they never really did before. They basically removed a perfect iPhone price tag that I never understood why they did it. If you remember back in 2022 for that whole entire year, up until September, Apple was selling the iPhone 11 at $499. Now to some people that was an overpriced iPhone and personally for me, I was able to buy iPhone 11s all day for like less than $300 on eBay. So if you could have just gone on eBay and you know bought it, I would have recommend probably doing that. But for a brand new iPhone 11, $499 you know, a couple years ago, really wasn't that bad of a deal. However, since that day, September of 2022, Apple has never gone through and sold another iPhone at that particular price tag. And I do think in some ways, that's actually a pretty crazy thing. I personally believe that that particular iPhone at that price tag was one of the best iPhone prices Apple's ever thrown up there. That was a very good price device. And I do think if I was going through and purchasing a phone, I think that price tag of that particular I think that price tag of that particular phone was probably the best of the best that Apple made. And since then, they never made another iPhone at that price tag. I was expecting personally that Apple was going to go through and basically bring that iPhone 12 at $499. And this year, they were going to drop the iPhone you know, 13 down to that price tag potentially. But Apple never really ended up doing that. And since then, we've been stuck in this like price tag range thing where basically the iPhone 13 is at $599, the iPhone SE 3 is at $429, and there's such a big gap in that price tag, which has always kind of weirded me out. So why is this even important nowadays? Well, there's this really big report, as we probably have already seen for many, many times now, that the iPhone SE 4th generation could end up coming out at some point in the next, you know, coming year. Potentially, it's going to be coming out either Q1 of 2025 or mid-2025. I think it's probably going to be Q1 of 2025. And this is going to be a very, very interesting thing that may end up happening here. Because for that particular device, those particular iPhones are going to be, you know, potentially between that price tag of $429 and $599. But if that iPhone ends up becoming a little bit over $499, maybe $529 or $549, that iPhone price tag at $499 is still going to kind of be abandoned. Yes, the iPhone prices would have gone up, but I'm going to tell you, I definitely do think that price tag at $499 was almost the perfect type of price tag, and I do still kind of find it weird that Apple's never made another iPhone at that price since 2022. I think that was a very weird thing. You know, things can change. Apple can end up doing something like this in the future and bringing it back, but personally for me, I really hope Apple ends up bringing a price tag of this iPhone back because it really was one of my most favorite prices of any iPhone of all time. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.